eight days in the Canadian Quetico wilderness begins now. Spent last night bunked at Seagull Outfitters. About to take the shuttle out right now. Got the fleet of red feather canoes right there. Here's the man himself who makes red feather canoes. Yes, sir. Gonna be pretty awesome. Looking forward to it. Well, we have made it to the drop off. Got the red feather loaded up. Andrew, anything to say, man? Here we go. We're about to get carried away by the mosquitoes. They are fierce. Fierce indeed. John, anything to say to the camera? Bon voyage. It's going to be a good one. It, it is, Luke. Let's do it. Sherpa. Scott, any words of wisdom? Get out of the mosquitoes. That's, they are savage right now. Take that one right now, sucking on your ankle. <laughs> Adrian, anything to say? Let's get it done. Let's have fun. Catch it's, some fish. It's going to be a great oh, trip. 30-inch walleye coming your way. Oh, in the 30-inch walleye already. All the red feather floating good. Looking good, boys. They are looking good. You scoping out the map? Checking it out. All right, to the ranger station we go. Trip is underway. Arrived at the ranger station in Cache Bay. Fire danger extremely high. Kind of a bummer we're not going to be able to have fires while out here, but brought a lot more fuel. Beautiful. There she is. Silver Falls. I remember this portage from the last time I was here. It's a steep one. You want to take your time, but if you go too slow, the mosquitoes will eat you alive. <laughs> You're doing great, Ace. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. It's a good thing you got some new Crocs. Sheesh. What'd you think of that one? That's fun. Those mosquitoes are ruthless. Yeah. What, what, what was the rods on that? 130. 130. I don't like the idea of using DEET just because it's bad for you, but God, is it worth it. DEET is needed up here. Yeah, it's necessary. I wish I would have thought of that. Was it Promethrin? Yeah. The Promethrin would have been clutch. Uh, Spray it on your clothes because they were biting me right through this stuff. Right through this, they were chomping. At least we didn't bring a cooler. No cold beer is worth portaging a cooler. No. Through Quetico. Ultra like, lightweight, baby. What are you? Yeah, they have a cooler. Yeah, paddle hard here because we don't want to get pulled into this uh, rock. The water is high. You know they're doing right under there. First couple casties of the trip. Might troll this shoreline for a bit. We are uh, full of energy right now. <laughs> just, yep, just getting after it. Pretty pretty. Portage oh. number two. Yeah, that was a. Uh... Not a super easy one, but oh, shoulders are hurting. Shoulders are burning. Oh. oh, yep, that's all the food in that one. Can't wait till that one's lighter, right? Let's just go buffet style tonight so we don't have to. Oh, there's like 17 mosquitoes on my yeah, hand. Yeah, dude, look at them on the bag. Let's get the fuck out of here. Paddle. <laughs> they are vicious here. I got a tree in the way. There we go. Now, These guys were just doing push ups over here. 
<laughs> Getting a little lunch snack. We're going Thai chili. Luke. On the tortilla. We are here for six nights, just so you know to ration your food. This is my snack ration. We're good. Okay. Luke is 6'7", he'll be burning some calories. Yeah. And I'll tell you what, it wouldn't hurt to lose about 10 where the Coors Light up front. <laughs> John's just still, having still, a good time unpacking still, his that bags. That was a comment made. I, I still would put it toward the bottom. <laughs> I still would, just due to the tax weight distribution. What would you guys rate this campsite if it was an actual, like, if we were staying here tonight? Probably a solid, like... Two out of five. Uh, maybe three. It's Just for the hard. nice random oh, skull. Thinking, what do you think that's from? A moose? Size, this is probably a two, but it could be a three. Probably is from a moose. That's not a deer. Had to take a couple casts from shore. Nice smallie. First one of the trip. That little crank bait. See ya. Time to start the handy garbage bag they gave us. Wait, this garbage bag doesn't even seal. What's the point of a... I thought it would be a sealing one. Usually I use like an old gallon bag and put the garbage in that. Nice little break, guys. Got some nice little current here. Enjoy the float, boys. Coming back up isn't going to be as fun. <laughs> Luckily the water's dropping. Yeah. What side's the portage on? Left. Left. You need to stick to the left one. That's the fall right there, huh? You can hear it. Yeah. It's up ahead. I remember this one, I think. It's closer than you'd think. Like, you start getting a little, a little nervous, but it's up there. Is it? I don't, but I don't want to. I don't want to mess up and get down there and realize we have to come back. So it doesn't look, it's, it's closer. Yeah, you would not want to end up down there. Looking good, brother. This portage along these falls kind of reminds me of the last time I was here in 2017 with my dad and uh, long story short my dad got really sick and uh, really weak out here and had to we portaged back and like rushed to the hospital it's pretty scary stuff I was you know six years ago I was kind of just a 20 year old 21 year old kid or something and it was pretty scary because when you're back here there ain't no help nice work boys <laughs> that's a keeper John John and Luke, Scott and Adrian. Beautiful day so far. Yeah, we just did this short portage and tried to just lift the canoes. A little hairy, but beautiful waterfalls over there. 2.40 p.m., making pretty good time. Haven't really fished hardly at all, but it's okay. Onward. Guys, if Andrew and I just shot those rapids, would you save us or would you just say natural natural selection? <laughs> Take all my fishing lures. Pretty cool spot. In a normal year, this is not uh there's not water trickling over it. But because of the high water. The portage has become a little river. There you 
go. Thank you, sir. Appreciate yep. it. Big old small jaw underneath the falls. Heck yeah. That is awesome. Came out from the rock and <laughs> snatched it. Wanna get it back? Yes. <laughs> Give him his grub, bro. <laughs> Another portage down. We've done like six portages now. It's 4.30. Falls chain. A lot of waterfalls to portage over. We're giving her today. Another one right up there. Jeez, look at this portage. <sighs> Starting to feel it a little bit. It's getting late, but we're almost to the end. I'm gonna make sure Andrew's good down this. Yeah, well be careful for this. Out of way in the Crocs. What are these falls called? I don't know, dude. You pass it all on the end of them all. All right, brother. Making memories. Okay, try to pull out a bit. For all we know, they did go right here. Give us a little power just to get past this. Yeehaw, Bray. Stay easy. It looked way worse than it really was. Getting back to that one's gonna be Oh, I know, I... I... <laughs> Hell yeah, bro. That was, that was cool. See, look at, that's where it comes down right there. That's where the other one comes down. So if, if you're going upstream this, that's probably where you have to dock. We did, we did the shortcut way. We made it to Kenny. They look like they got a campsite right there too. If we can come here and fish this, fish this, uh, jig this for walleye, right here by the campsite, that'd be sweet. Yeah, this is perfect. I hope that's actually a campsite. Well, I should be able to see it on the map. Yep. My dad, they're marked right here. Well, they looked at that and it's. Probably not enough tents. It's, spots. it's a, actually a, a very nice, open, non-buggy site, but it has two, almost three. Spots. Well, keep in keep in mind, our queue is tiny. Yeah. I mean, if it's five, it's five o'clock. We, five. if you like it and it's good, otherwise we could make it work. If it's, it's a if it's doable. Made it to our site for the night on Kenny Lake. Pretty awesome little spot. Up on a point. No 
No mosquitoes because it's breezy. Luke, any thought? Head oh, your headlamp's been bumped. on in your bag. That's not well, I must good. Must have gotten bumped in there. I had to double check to make sure she was on. Any thoughts from your first day in Quetico? Fun, long, <laughs> sure. Fun and long. That sounds great. <laughs> long and hard. Scott, any any words of wisdom? I'd say you know it's it's par for the course for us. That's this is kind of what we do. That's valid. We uh we hauled ass. In a cave, God said there's something that growled at him down here. Are you serious? Okay. In the water. It's living underneath. Underneath. You go down there, you can see underneath that rock. Okay. Oh, okay. Underneath there. Jeepers. Give me a weapon. Give me a stick. A Leatherman. Gosh, I need like a poker stick. <laughs> Dude, is it big? Oh, there's definitely something living up there. No. There's. You can see where there's a t t tunnel, though. So I went and stood right over there in the. See the flat spot? Yeah. The water? That's where I was standing. And it went. Well, I'm gonna go from the other way. Got a little blustery after dinner. You got him still? Oh, it's gonna take a video. Camp, camp, uh, pike, camp, you said? Camp Pike. That's pretty sweet. Yeah, I let it go down for a little bit. Oh, that's pretty cool. Camp Pike. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Yeah, that's pretty cool. John, is yours about the same size? <laughs> Fun to catch though. Surprised you didn't steal my jig. Nice, Luke. Yeah, stick your thumb. Just lip them like a bass. <laughs> Put a doink of fish right down here. Oh, structure. Luke with the first walleye of the trip. Nice, here I'll yeah. grab a picture of you. Oh! Hello. There well, he goes. Time out, where's your jig? <laughs> Gone with him. Well, it was right there. Luke, that's a total eater. I watched it bounce off to the he, left. He must have that is an, hit. That is an eater walleye. Yeah. Nice that's fish, man. All right, let him go. Sweet.